smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. What is up guys, it's Dankman here from uh, Bad Luck Modern. I'm going to take you through a simple crack me reverse engineer. Uh, so, we have a simple crack me here with a name and serial check. Uh, let's just go ahead and put some random stuff in there. Alright, so we have both of those. Alright, so we know it's wrong, try again. Uh, we'll click some of the other buttons if they do, we have about. Uh, coded by Crackdoor, coded in VB2010. Don't know why he's using 2010 in 2015, but okay. Uh, Alright, then we obviously have exit. But we know that we can get this error to come up, so we want to take note of that. Bad boy. And wrong. Try. Okay. Now this is a .NET application, so obviously it's going to be simpler than some of the other stuff. We're going to go ahead and open this up with .NET Reflector. Now, uh, all right. So we have this right here. Uh, we obviously want to go into Windows Application 1. We know it has an About box, which is shown right here. Now, this About box doesn't really serve us any purpose. We could edit some text in it maybe later on. But really, it's just there just for the credit side of things. What we're interested in is the name and serial. So we have name, serial, and check. We know there's three buttons and two input boxes which we have, uh, let's have a look, Four one. Here we have three buttons, two text boxes. The so text boxes are gonna take our inputs and buttons are gonna obviously just perform different tasks. So we'll go down and have a look at button one click. Now we have nothing in button one click. Uh, this is what we want right here. Now, if we take a look here, we have crack door, Crack me if you can. So if we put the name to crack door and we set the uh, the serial to crack me if you can. Put in the exclamation mark. Check it. So now write a key gen tutorial. Now that's just uh, a simple thing. That isn't going to be in most apps. I don't think it's in near enough any real life situation when it comes to this. I mean, some programs do leave hard-coded serials and stuff, but it's really not what we're looking for. You want to be looking more into other ways of doing this. Okay, so let's open up Reflex on it. So we already know that it does a check, and we check if it's solved or not. So, we can have a look through the opcodes down here, and we notice that it has Crack Door and Crack Me if you can. Now. The way this is going to work is it's going to check if it's true or false. If it's true, solve, write a keygen tutorial, good boy. If it's not true, then it's going to be wrong, try again. So we want to be looking for some kind of uh, opcode which checks a statement. Now if we take a look here, we can see brfalse.s. Okay, so now if we go down here to brfalse.s, branch to target if the value is zero, false. So if it's zero, then it's not true. Uh, if it's not zero, then it is true. So basically, if it's zero, it's false. If it's one, it's true. Uh, I will quickly show you this. This is uh, the website in which I found this crack me. It's a really simple one. It was just to, uh, I don't know, get a video out there. I mean, it may come in useful to some people. Okay, so we have, we know now that it's either true or false. Now, we're loading in the strings with LDSTR, which is load string, and we're checking if it's true or false. So we look for brfalse.s, and we have another brfalse.s. So what we'll do right now is we'll go edit this, and we'll switch it to true. So by switching these to true, it's going to completely counteract the check. So, 
If it equals these, then it's wrong. But if it doesn't equal these, then that's right. So we've flipped the whole statement around on itself. Now let's uh, use Reflexil to actually save a version of that. Okay, so now we have uh, Crack Me, Crack Door patched. And we'll open Crack Me, Crack Door. Uh, let's not use Crack Me if I can. Alright, let's use a bunch of A's. Okay, so check it. Wrong. Try again. So this right here, that's wrong. It's not going to work. But where we flipped our statements around, solve. Now write a keygen tutorial. And that's just simply by switching around the true and false statement. But, yeah, so basically just switching them around will falsify the check. Now, we could just leave it at this with the whole solve now write a keygen tutorial. Now, I don't understand where they actually wanted us to write this uh, keygen tutorial. I mean, it doesn't actually make sense to me in like with the tutorial well no making a tutorial that simple writing a keygen for it really there isn't a way to do a keygen you can only do a crack but let's do this all right so we'll go in here where another load string solved now write a keygen tutorial solved we now love chicken and blm Update. Now, do we really want it to say good boy? Or do we want it to say... Well done, Mr. Swag. So yes, we should now have a well done, Mr. Swag. Let's go down to Reflexo. Save as. Uh, crack me patched one. Okay, so now let's go to here. And we'll repeat the same process again. Check. Well done, Mr. Swag. Solved. We now love chicken and BLM. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's, there's other things that you can do with how we just did that. For instance, the crack be my, uh, crack me by Crackador. We could, uh, let's have a look. Initialize component. Uh, let's have a scroll through this. Crack me by Crackador. Edit. Cracked by Dankman. Throw that in there. Uh, we change the buttons. So let's have a look through. We have the about button. Uh, we have exit. Button two. Okay, so we have check it. We could change that to give me chicken. Don't know why chicken. Chicken just sounds good right now. Now we will save as patched to. Okay, well the button didn't fit just because of the uh, the size of the button that was specified. But we can see now it's cracked by Dankman. There. Right on, Mr. Swag. And that's, that's really it. We've switched around the statements. We've changed what would be uh, produced out, like the message. And that's just a simple .NET reverse engineer.